Did you know that there's a skeleton living in each and every one of us? Oh, that's kind of scary, right? If you want more creepy facts like that, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and turn on post notifications in any particular order you'd like. Anyways, guys, today we're reacting to another video by Dory Story called My Family Didn't Believe That Something Had Been Living Inside of Me, But Then My Mom Saw My Belly. So that's a whole mouthful. I wonder how this story is gonna go. They kind of spoiled the whole story in the title, but you know, maybe I'll still be surprised. Anyways, I'm gonna leave a link to their channel down below in the description. Make sure you check out Dory Story yourself because they have a lot of other animations. And now let's get straight into it. Hi, hey. my name is Andy and I'm 15 Andy? years old. He's 15, Let me okay. ask you a question. Do you love your siblings? Of course I love my siblings. Do you guys have any siblings? Do you love them? Let me know down below in the comment section if you do. And if you hate them, I guess. Well, you can't, you don't have to say anything if you hate them, but maybe you should try loving them some more, you know? Siblings, they fight a lot, but we can get through anything together as a family. Or something inspirational like that. I don't really care. For as long as I can remember, my older sister mocked me constantly See? and put me down. That's exactly what I'm talking about. His sister, she's kind of a jerk to him, but at the end of the day, it's still your sister. And you know what? It don't matter. Just leave a like, okay? okay. Because of her... I was afraid to live, and I mean that literally. Wow. Now his sister made him think that. What a terrible thing to do to your little brother. You're the older sister. You should be taking care of your brother. You should be treating him right. You shouldn't be bullying him. You should be fighting people that bully him, not be one of the buddies. One evening, when I was 10, and Judy, my sister, was 14, okay, Judy. our parents asked her to babysit me. Is this dad Walter White? Because if so... I got bad news for you, kid. Although my sister hated me, recently with our parents, she'd been pretending to be a loving sister. I hate that. There's so many people that are exactly like this. Parents, teachers, and stuff like, oh, look, little Susie, whatever her name is. She is such an angel. She would never hurt the fly. Then when they're not watching, they're evil. They're mean. They are the devil. I hate people like that. Do you hate people like that as well? Do you know anyone like that? Expose them down below in the comments. Just leave out all the names and stuff. So that they would buy a car for her 16th birthday. Wow. When we were alone, she was always angry and made fun of me constantly. Why? She would say that I was a wimp and a freak and that I was adopted. Whoa, that's, that's terrible. terrible. Why would you say that? Maybe she actually feels weak and she's insecure. So she projects that onto her little brother. And that's my theory. But that evening, everything went too far. What happened? As soon as my parents went away, yeah. Greg, Judy's boyfriend, not came Greg. Over. He was 17 and he was as nasty as my sister. No. Greg always called me a dweeb, making fun of my height and Why lack would you of do muscles. That? When he and Judy got bored, they would force me to box with him or try to lift heavy dumbbells. I feel so bad for I him. I loved to draw comics and wanted only one thing to be left alone. When Greg came over uh. that night, they sat me down with them and put on a horror movie. All right, now, hold on, hold on. Horror movies ain't that bad. Let's be real. I would enjoy watching a horror movie. Except I probably wouldn't enjoy watching them with his sister and Greg. They seem like jerks, and I don't think watching a movie with them would be very enjoyable. In the film, monsters crawled out of people through their belly <gasps> button and ripped them in half. Wait I a was second. terrified. But I was forced to sit and watch the awful film. Is this going to happen to him? Judy, seeing I was upset, laughed and grabbed my belly button. I have an Audi belly button, and my sister told me that a monster, like from the film we were watching, what? lived in me. But I have an Audi belly button as well. Uh, well, no monster here. But what if I'm the monster, and the belly button is the real dark? That didn't make any sense. Never mind. <laughs> she claimed that she had seen a larva creep into my ear when I was younger. And soon, a monster would burst out of my belly button and rip me apart. You don't really believe that, do you? I couldn't sleep for a long time that night. And so, I drew the monsters from the movie until I dozed off. Then he had a nightmare. In the morning, I woke up. Looking down, I saw blood. Red blood. It was <sighs> like I had drawn last night. What? I lifted my pajama top. And there was blood around my belly button. No, what happened? I froze. I looked, and beneath the blood, there was something black. Just like the movie. I screamed so loud that all our neighbors heard me, oh, and no. my mom came running into my room. Does his sister have something to do with this? His sister and Greg. Are you playing a prank? But if this is a prank, 
Is that still real blood? I hope not. I was hysterical and kept crying and trying to explain about the monster that was coming out of my belly button. I tried to tell my mom that I was going to die as soon as the thing burst out it. of me, and maybe I was adopted. But between the tears and the screaming, I didn't make any sense. Eventually, my mom lifted my pajama top, yeah. took one look at my belly button, and dragged me into the shower. So it wasn't blood? I wasn't going to die. Judy and Greg had snuck into my room once I was asleep and drawn something that looked like a monster on my belly button, wow. then covered it with ketchup. Hold on, but ketchup has like an entirely different texture from blood. So how did he fall for that? Or maybe he's never seen real blood. Neither have I. Well, I did, but it made complete sense. It was not my own blood. Then, uh, wait, I can explain. Hold on. Judy got grounded, and I got sent to a child psychologist. Luckily, his sister didn't I get away. I went to Stella, my psychologist, twice a week. Wait! Because of the incident with Judy and Greg and the movie, I developed an erratic phobia of belly buttons. Okay, that's kind of sad. He has a phobia of belly buttons, even though he has a belly button himself. So every time he showers and looks down, he goes, Beep! So uh, the animation has only just begun. Is it going to end up with an actual monster living inside of him? Because there's enough time for that to happen. As soon as I saw them, I would panic, thinking some oh, monster no. would emerge and rip the person in twain. What a weird phobia to have. I had horrible nightmares and regularly awoke in a cold sweat. What was worse was that I started to notice something. My belly button really was getting bigger. Oh, but wait, that's just puberty. Chill, chill, my man. I forgot what his name was. Can somebody remind me what his name was down below in the comment section? But chill, it's probably just puberty, right? Right? Does your belly button get bigger during puberty? Or maybe he's constipated. That's also possible, but also a bit gross. I was terrified. As you should be. I didn't tell anyone. Not Aww. mom, not dad, not even I feel even so Stella. bad for him. My belly button was getting bigger, and oh. I knew what would happen once it got too big. That's kind of really big. The monster inside of me would come out and rip it apart. What if he's hallucinating? You guys think that's possible? Maybe his phobia is so severe, he's starting to hallucinate that the monster is going to pop out of his belly button. Eventually, the pain, which was only minor at first, <gasps> got too bad. And it hurts? Desperate and thoroughly terrified, I told my mom. Maybe it's his liver. She took one look at my oh. belly button and turned white. I know what that is. It's a hernia. He has a hernia. It's because he doesn't work out. He doesn't exercise. He sits on a chair all day. And it... wait, I just described myself. We were in an ambulance on the way to the hospital what could within it be? the hour. At the hospital, the doctors discovered that I didn't have a case of the money bellies, but instead something called an umbilical hernia. I Moreover, I had had this since birth. We're smart. This umbilical hernia. Hold on, shut the hell up, doc. Shut the hell up. You're telling me things I already knew. I already told everyone what it was. It's a hernia. Guys, I called it. So the least you can do is leave a like right now. I'm serious. Leave a like or else you'll get a hernia or something like that. I don't really know how a hernia works. I just know. I don't even, I don't even know how I knew it was a hernia. How did I know? Huh. Very mysterious, doc. Had had an effect on my growing up. It was the reason I was so weak, why I was so scrawny, why oh. I was such a dweeb. Well, you're not a I dweeb. I needed an operation to remove the hernia and was put under for it. So now that the hernia is gone, which is the reason why he was such a dweeb, in his own words, does that mean he's going to turn into like Dwayne Johnson now? But when I came to, I made a startling discovery. What? I no longer had a belly button. It had been removed alongside my hernia. What? The thing I was most afraid of was gone. Now, hold on. I don't feel like this is a very healthy way to deal with a phobia. You're just running away from your fear instead of facing it. Anyway, is that a thing? They removed his belly button, so his belly is just flat? That's, That's so weird. weird. I'm going to Google bellies with no belly buttons right after this video. Uh, I suggest you guys don't do that because you never know what you'll find when you Google. But despite this, I still had nightmares and still felt uneasy about the whole thing. Yep, he still has a phobia. Judy, annoyed at having gotten in trouble, continued to tease me. What? Your little brother went to the hospital. He was in severe pain. What's wrong with her? Why is she so mean? She constantly told me that the monster was still inside me and hadn't been removed and was going terrible. to crawl out any day now. What a terrible sister. I'd had surgery to remove a hernia and my Audi had been removed as well. So why did this bother me? Yeah, why? Because I could feel something moving in my stomach. It's still not over? 
So we had a prank with ketchup. Then we had a hernia. And now it's still not over. He still has something. Could it really be a monster? Is that the plot twist of this story? This time, I told Stella right away. But she thought it was my phobia playing on my oh, perception no, she of doesn't reality. believe him. She was proven wrong very quickly. As a few days oh, no. after our session, I came down with a fever. It got worse and worse. And eventually, the hospital my again? mom called an ambulance. I was taken back to the hospital, but I was terrified. Were the doctors going to find the monster in my stomach? Are they? Was I going to be torn apart? Ooh, Not by the doctor. Quite. But the doctors did find something. During my operation, a piece of cotton wool had broken what? off inside of me, which none of the doctors had spotted. Now listen, guys. Apparently, it happens more often than you think, where during surgery, a surgeon forgets to take something out of the body, and then they close up the body, and then you end up with a freaking knife inside your belly. A surgical knife. Is that a thing? Surgical knife. It's like a kitchen knife, but surgical. It's kind of creepy to think about it. Like, a surgeon could make one mistake, nobody spots it, and there you go. You're a surgical knife man now. You have a knife in your belly. That's your superpower. This wool had been resting inside of me, absorbing liquid and moving about. Oh, so it's getting because bigger. Because it was near where I had had the surgery. The skin was tender, and thus, I felt a lot of pain when it brushed the tissue. What happens? Is now, it just gonna... I had an even uglier scar, as the doctors had to remove it, too. Wow. I was never vain or proud of my body, but now I was extraordinarily self-conscious about it. You know, scars can look kind of cool. I have a bunch of scars. I tell people I fought a lion. They're like, wow, you're so cool. Or they say, what? Get out of here before I smack you across the face. Don't lie to me like that. Mixed, mixed reactions usually. Yeah. My parents spent a lot of time with me and Judy grew ever more jealous. Why? She was angry at me too. As apparently I had stopped mom and dad from buying her a car at 16. Her own fault? In fact, mom and dad had seen how she behaved towards me when she thought they weren't looking and decided she wasn't mature enough for a car. Good job. She continued to mock me, to tease me, and to tell me I was adopted. Mom and Dad finally had enough and decided to arrange a very special birthday party for me. Okay. On my 12th birthday, You're gonna give him a my car? parents arranged for only a small celebration. No friends, no relative, just me, Mom, Dad, and Judy. So what's Mom the surprise? Mom and Dad told us they had something to tell me and dad showed me an old piece of paper. It was an adoption certificate. His sisters? Judy had been right all along. I was adopted. Huh? I had been adopted when I was a few months old, mom told me. They showered me in kind words and told me how much they loved me. Whilst Judy stood there, what? her face full of malice and glee. That was until dad presented a She's second adopted old as well. piece of paper. Judy, we adopted you too. Is this a prank? You and Andrew are biological siblings. We love you both equally. The truth was our parents couldn't have children. They had decided to adopt a baby huh? from an orphanage. That is, me. But they learned that I had an older sister and didn't want to separate us. But wait, she's not a baby. You'd think she would remember being adopted, right? Or am I just wrong? Is it just a bad memory that she suppressed? So they took us both in. Our biological parents had died in a car accident That's three sad. months after my birth. For so many years, we had thought each other different and weird and had vied with each other for our parents' love, when in fact, we were the same. Two orphan children adopted by parents loved who loved by us their both new equally. parents. I struggled with my phobia for years. I sometimes thought that I would never get past it. But a few days after my birthday, it just vanished. Wow. I don't know how to explain it. That's convenient. It just stopped being a problem. Judy changed too. Since learning Finally. that we were both adopted, we get on better. That's she good. She's more supportive and nice, and I try to help her any way I can. Do you remember I used to draw cartoons? Yep. He's well, a cartoon artist now. I still do, except now I get paid for it. I developed my love for comics and monsters into a job as a freelance artist and illustrator. Good for I him. I draw monsters for a living. And my belly button? Well, let's just say I make far scarier monsters now. This is what happens in life. Our greatest fears Whoa. can develop into our greatest triumphs. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting the story to go this way. But hey, clap it up for sibling love.
clap it up everybody applause all right now that i have your attention leave a like as well i see some people didn't leave a like yet and they finished the whole video what's wrong with you leave a like and hey if you want to see more reactions like this don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications and check out my other videos by clicking on this one or on this one whatever you prefer just click on one of them please i'm begging you at this point <laughs> and hopefully i will see all of you next time dark signing out